Yeah. Very much. Well, as steelworkers prepare to shut down the last blast furnace in Batalbot, another community knows just how that feels. Brumbo Steelworks in Wrexham closed exactly 34 years ago with a loss of 1,100 jobs. But now, as Matthew Richards reports, a £10 million project is finally transforming the site into a major heritage attraction. Now a massive area filled with the decaying remnants of the Industrial Revolution, the former steelworks was once a hot, noisy hub of activity until its closure 34 years ago. When steelmaking at Brumbo was brought to an end last month, a 200-year connection between the area and the iron industry was finally severed. Many workers have already been made redundant. Former Brumbo mill manager Colin Davis was one of them. It was a horrible day. That would have been on the 27th of September 1990. I witnessed, like many other people, I witnessed the last tap coming out of the furnace. And once it had tapped out, for the melting shop, it was something extraordinary. It was silence. Never experienced that before. Because obviously, furnace is out, nothing at all. Over the past 34 years, there's been a long-running campaign to preserve what's left of the original factory. Now that legal wrangles have been overcome and £10 million pounds of heritage lottery and other funding has been pledged, construction on the site can begin. It started from a group of people who used to be steel workers, sitting around and having a cup of tea and thinking actually we need to protect this place after it closed in 1990. Um, that idea developed um, and eventually they started talking to the lottery, they formed a trust, they acquired some funding, um, but because they couldn't get the legal and land deal sorted, they couldn't actually get started. Um, so it's only just a few months ago that we finally got that bit nailed. But the attraction named Story Brumbo will take people even further back in time than the past two centuries of heavy industry. Visitors will be able to watch the real-time excavation of a 300 million year old fossilised forest discovered on the site by chance in 2003. There's no other project like this in Europe as far as I know. The whole idea of having a covered excavation space that's publicly accessible the entire time is quite contrary to normal kind of excavations where the public's kept off while the serious scientific work goes down. As we're not going to be constrained by seasonality, there's no reason we have to rush anything. We can have people come down, talk to us, pester us while we're working, asking us what's that, what are you doing there? When the first phase of the project is completed in 2026, it'll tell Brumbo's entire story, from fossils to furnaces and the fight to ensure that its industrial and prehistoric heritage is preserved for generations to come. Matthew Richards, BBC Wells Today, Brumbo.